But now, let's go to the Sugar Bowl Stadium for the LSU Clemson Football Classic. The Gorgas Guards, under the direction of Captain Howard M. Hanna, entertains the crowd with a magnificent display of precision drill. The Clemson Band enters the stadium. The LSU Band comes onto the field. The Apache Bells and their band march on next. The Louisiana State University Pershing Rifles thrill the band. Rochester Male Chorus entertains the huge crowd. Maids of Honor, representing all of the universities who participated in previous Sugar Bowl games, watch as Claude Sands, president of the New Orleans Midwinter Sports Association, places the crown on the head of pretty Kathleen Grenrud, queen of the 1959 Sugar Bowl. The Clemson team is in royal blue jerseys, LSU in white jerseys. They engage in pregame warm-ups. Here's Coach Frank Howard of the Clemson Tigers. Their president, Robert Edwards of Clemson. He watches confidently as the boys limber up. And then all the fans and attendants stand with bowed heads as Rabbi Julian Feibelman delivers a prayer for peace. Getting near game time now, the Clemson Tigers in royal blue jerseys race onto the field amid the cheers of their supporters. Captain Billy Hendricks of LSU and Clemson co-captains Rudy Hayes and Bill Thomas meet for the toss at midfield. Clemson wins the toss. He elects to receive. LSU will kick off, defend the north goal. After a five-yard penalty for an out-of-bounds kickoff, Max Fugler kicks to the Clemson eight-yard line. Horn gathers it in. He returns to the 35 for 27-yard run back. Max Fugler, who did the kicking, does the tackling. Makes it first and 10 for Clemson in the 35. Tight T formation, the quarterback's white. He hands off to Hayes and moves over right guard for two yards before Red Brodnack stops him. White at quarterback, handing off to Hayes again. He goes over right guard this time for three yards. McCready makes the tackle for the LSU Tigers. Third down for Clemson. White keeps it, goes through right tackle, picks up four. Strange making the tackle. It's fourth and one yard to go. Clemson decides to drop into deep punt formation. Barn gets a bad pass from center, but he manages to get the ball away. He punts out to LSU's 24-yard line, where the ball finally rolls in. 32-yard punt from scrimmage. Now I get first down, 10 yards to go for the LSU Tigers on its 24-yard line. Slot T formation, Warren Rabb handing off to Robinson. He tries to go through left tackle, but Thomas comes in fast to throw him for a two-yard loss. Second and 12 for LSU. Rab hands off to Billy Cannon, who finds a hole at right tackle. Billy gains 15 yards in a driving run before he's brought down by Horn. The first and 10 for LSU. First of the ball game. Ball in the 37 as Rab drops back the pass, looking for Cannon, almost smothered. He throws it, but it's overthrown and incomplete. Second down, 10 yards to go. LSU operating off a slot T formation. Grab the quarterback, hands off to Robinson. He tries left end, but it's no good, no gain. Bartoloni makes the stop. So the Louisiana State Tigers shift into deep punt formation. Billy Cannon will be the kicker. A long count and a snap. Cannon punts to the Clemson 25-yard line. The ball rolls dead. That kick was good for 38 yards. So the Clemson Tigers take over. The ball in the 25. First down, 10 yards to go. White hands off to Hayes. He goes through center for two yards before he's tackled by Calden. Quarterback White handing off to Usry. He tries to go through right guard, but Brodnack stops him after a one-yard gain. Horn is flanked out to the left. White fakes to Hayes, hands off to Osri. He picks up three yards at right guard. But it's still short of a first down. So Harn is back in punt formation again. The pass from center again is high, but Harn gets it away. Kick traveling down to the LSU 42-yard line, 26 yards from scrimmage, and Rab makes a fair catch. LSU takes over once again, first and 10 to the 42. Rab rolling out from his quarterback position. He's going to pass. No, he slips and falls, and it's an eight-yard loss in the 34. Second down, 18 yards to go for LSU. A wing T formation this time. Goes through right tackle, fumbles the ball, but recovers 
for a one-yard gain. So LSU retains possession, but does not pick up the first down, and so they shift into a deep punt formation. Tommy Davis is in the ball game now, and he'll do the kicking. Davis waits for the snap. Gets the ball and punts out to the Clemson 18-yard line. Shingler waiting for it. Grabs it, drops it, picks it up, and then is jarred by a rousing tackle by Branch. The kick is good for 52 yards from scrimmage. Clemson taking over now with Shingler at quarterback. He hands off to Hayes. It's a cross buck, but Lott comes in to throw him for a four-yard loss. Shingler calling signal. Hands off to Klein. He goes over left tackle for three yards and is stopped by Langan. Makes it third down. 11 yards to go for the Clemson Tigers. Shingler, the quarterback, hands off to Morgan. He hurdles over left guard, picks up 17 yards, and it's a first down on the Clemson 29. Scooter Purvis finally makes the tackle for LSU. First and 10 for Clemson. Ball on their 29-yard line. Shingler, the quarterback, fakes to Klein, keeps it, goes through right end for two yards with Branch making the tackle. Second down, eight yards to go. Shingler hands off to Morgan. Morgan gains two yards at left guard before being brought down by Fournette. Shingler again hands off to Morgan. He tries left guard, but he's only able to gain two yards as Davis brings him down. Unable to pick up the first down, Clemson moves into punt formation. His math is deep. Takes the snap and punts out the LSU 23-yard line. Scooter Purvis under the ball, takes it to the 22, driven backwards, and he's dropped by Morgan in the LSU 20. Kick good for 45 yards from scrimmage. LSU takes over, first down and 10, they're 20. Slot T formation, Purvis in motion to the right. The third hands off to Day. He goes through left tackle, picks up four yards with Klein making the stop. Second and six for LSU. The third, the quarterback now, hands off to Tommy Davis, passes through left guard, picks up 15 yards, and it's a first down on the 39. Schindler finally stops it. Ball in the LSU, 39, first and 10, the third, handing off to Purvis. It's a reverse, and Don gains five yards at right guard before he's halted by Schindler. Second down, five yards to go. Darrell Mathern, rolling out to the left, looking for somebody to throw to. Finally passes to McLean, and it's complete for 26 yards on the Clemson 30. A first down for the LSU Tiger. Tigers up to scrimmage, a slot T formation. Mathern spinning this time, hands off the Purvis, breaks over right tackle, picks up five yards before Departle upon brings him down as the first quarter end. The score, LSU nothing, Clemson nothing. LSU on the march to start the second quarter, but Mathern fumbles, and Masneri is in to recover for Clemson on the 23. First down, 10 yards to go for the Clemson Tigers in their 23-yard line. White, the quarterback, pitches back to Usry. He cuts over right tackle and picks up five yards. Mangum in to make the stop. White hands off the horn. He goes through left guard for five. It's a first down on the 33-yard line. LeBlanc made the tackle. White keeps the ball, fakes, rolls back to the right. He tries to run, but Strange brings him down for a seven-yard loss. Fourth and 12. And Clemson goes into punt formation. The pass from center's high, but Horn, badly rushed, gets off a poor kick for a loss of two yards to the Clemson 29. First and 10 for the LSU Tigers, Clemson's 29-yard line. Rab hands off to Broadnax. He smashes over right tackle and picks up eight yards. Hussery brings him down. Second and two now, Cannon flank to the right. Billy takes a quick little forward pass from Rab and picks up nine yards and a first down on the Clemson 12. White makes a stop. LSU Tigers in the slot T. Rab rolls out to the left. He throws intended for Billy Hendricks, but it's incomplete. Second and 10, slot T formation, and Warren Rapp, the quarterback, drops back again. This time he throws intended for Robinson. But it's broken up by Anderson. Rabb again rolls out to the left. He tries to hit Robinson, but the pass is broken up by Eberhardt. So LSU lines up in a place kick formation. Rapp attempting to hold. Davis will try the place kick. But he fakes. And he's going to throw. It's intended for Billy Cannon in the end zone, but it's way over his head. Incomplete. And the ball goes over to Clemson. Clemson takes over on her own 12-yard line. White hands off to Klein. It gets two yards at left tackle. Hugler in to make the stop. White quarterback. 
Picks hand off to Klein. Keeps it. Goes through left tackle and picks up three where Strange makes a stop. Third down. Five yards to go. White again fakes to Klein. Keeps it. Runs to the right. But Mangum breaks through to stop him for a loss of two. Clemson is in front formation. Klein is back. He gets the ball away to LSU's 44-yard line. Billy Cannon makes a fair catch. That kick was good for 41 yards from scrimmage. So it's first and ten for LSU under 44. Wing T formation. Rav handing to Robinson who hands to Cannon. Billy on a double reverse slips and falls for a one-yard loss. Slot T formation for the LSU Tigers. Rav pitches out to Robinson who tries to sweep right in. But he gains only one yard as Ussery rushes in to stop him. Rav faking, rolling out. He's going to throw. Tosses to Mangum. He catches it on the 32 and is run out of bounds. The pass was good for 24 yards. Another first and 10 for LSU. Ball in the Clemson 32 as Rav fakes and goes back to pass. But he decides to run. And he gets away for 13 yards before being run out of bounds on the Clemson 19 by Ussery. Another first down for the LSU Tigers. Rav fakes the handoff, keeps it, runs over left guard, and picks up three yards before Padgett stops him. Second and seven now for LSU. Rodnax takes the handoff from Rav. Drives through right tackle. He goes for eight, and it's another first down. Usry making the tackle. Rav hands off to Cannon, who smashes right guard. Picks up three with Masneri bringing him down. Second and goal for LSU on Clemson's five-yard line. Rav hands to Cannon, who crashes right tackle for a gain of four to the Clemson one. One yard to go for a TD. Rav this time hands to Broadnax, but it's a fumble. Klein recovers in the end zone for Clemson and a touchback. Clemson's ball on her own 20. First down, 10 to go now as Clemson takes over. Shingler pitches back to Morgan. He goes through left guard for three yards, but the play is called back. And Clemson penalized 15 yards for holding from the spot of the foul. Down remains the same. First and 22 on the eight-yard line. Shingler hands off to Dukes, who goes through left guard for three. But this play is being called back, too. LSU is penalized five yards for offside. First down for Clemson on the 13. Shingler pitches back to Mathis. Bill goes off right tackle for four yards. Sheck Schneider brings him down. Quarterback is Shingler. He fakes to his fullback, pitches out to Morgan, who skirts left end for seven yards before being brought down by Kinchin. This time, Shingler hands off to Morgan, who tries left tackle. But he's stopped by Langan after a one-yard gain. So the Clemson Tigers move into a punt formation. Mathis fumbles the pass from center. But he manages to get the kick away. His boot travels down to the LSU 39-yard line where Purvis takes it in and scoots back to the Clemson 42 for a 19-yard return. That kick was good for 36 yards from scrimmage. So it's first down, 10 yards to go now for LSU. Ball on the Clemson 42-yard line. LSU's penalized five yards for excessive timeout. And then Mathern drops back to pass. Can't find anybody open, so he decides to run and is pulled out from behind by Cox. It's a loss of five yards. Terrell Mathern, the quarterback, rolling out here to the left. He tries to hit Purvis with a pass, but overthrows him out of bounds. Incomplete. Tigers line up again with Mathern at quarterback, handing off to Cannon. Billy sweeps right in, picks up six yards with Snyder making a jarring tackle. Still short of the first down, LSU shifts into punt formation. Billy Cannon deep. Tigers take a long count. Cannon waiting for the snap. Gets it. And he punts into the Clemson end zone. 26-yard kick. Clemson Tigers will take over on their own 20-yard line as they bring it out. First down, 10 yards to go. Shingler, the quarterback, back to pass. And he decides to run. Tries right tackle, but Fournette stops him after he gains one yard.
Jingler hands off to Dukes, and on the left end sweep, Mike gains seven yards before Robert stops him. Third and two. Shingler fakes, keeps the ball, tries to circle left end, but Branch holds him for no gain as the half end with the score, LSU nothing, Clemson nothing. Here we are at halftime. Sun shining down on 85,000 fans viewing this great spectacle. The Sugar Bowl is located on the campus of Tulane University, and it is the largest steel-constructed stadium in the entire world. Let's go down to the field now and enjoy the halftime entertainment. First, the Clemson Band entertains the huge crowd. Louisiana State University Band. Now we're ready for the third quarter. After a five-yard penalty for an out-of-bound kickoff, Padgett kicks from his own 35-yard line. Ball travels down to the LSU 8, where Billy Cannon gathers it in and gallops back to the 39 before he's run out of bounds by Horn. This return was good for 31 yards. So it's first and 10 for LSU on her 39-yard line. Darrell Mathern, the quarterback, hands off to Cannon. Billy drives his way over right guard for four yards. Thomas making the stop. Mathern again hands off to Cannon, who goes off right tackle for three. Thomas again stops him. This time, Mathern fakes to Cannon, rolls out to the right, and passes. The ball is intercepted, but the officials rule that it was caught out of bounds. So it's fourth down for LSU as they move into deep punt formation. Billy Cannon drops back to receive the pass from center. A long count, the snap. Cannon gets off the kick. Deep into Clemson territory, it travels down to the Clemson six-yard line before the ball rolls dead. However, LSU is penalized 15 yards for illegal use of the hand. That takes the ball back to LSU's 31, where the Tigers go into punt formation again. Tommy Davis is in now. He gets a snap from center. Booms the kick down to the Clemson 27-yard line before the ball rolls dead. Davis' kick is good for 42 yards from scrimmage. That means the Clemson Tigers will take over. First and 10 and they're 27. White is the quarterback. He hands off to Horn. who goes through left guard for four yards with Lott stopping him. Second and six for Clemson. White hands off to Horn. He moves through the middle for a pickup of five yards. Max Fugler tackles him. Third and one. On a handoff from White to Hayes, Rudy finds a hole in the center. He picks up two yards, and it's a first down for Clemson on her 38. White hands off to Usry, who smashes right tackle for seven before he's brought down by Fugler. Second and three for Clemson now. White, the quarterback, hands off to Hayes. He tries left tackle and gains two. Fugler again makes the stop. One yard short of the first down. White fakes the handoff. He keeps it. Dives over right tackle for two. And 
there's the first down on the 49-yard line. White hands off on a trap play to Hayes. Rudy smashes his way over right guard to pick up 11 yards and another first down. An LSU's party. Billy Cannon made the tackle. On a handoff from White, Pussery skirts right in for eight yards before being run out of bounds by Robinson. But LSU was offside. However, Clemson refuses a penalty and takes the game. Second and two. White hands off to Hayes. He goes through right tackle for two yards and another first down for Clemson, this time on LSU's 30. Rodnick made that stop. White hands off to Horn. He moves through a hole at left guard for three yards before he's stopped by Lott. Second down, seven yards to go. White pitching out to Usry this time. He runs the LSU 21. Get hard, fumbles, and Strange recovers for LSU on the 28-yard line. So the Tigers of LSU take over. Mathern, the quarterback, handing to Purvis. Purvis sweeps right in for three yards before Snyder upends him. Second and seven. Mathern hands off to Tommy Davis, and Tommy hurdles over left tackle for two yards. Day and a quick handoff from the third goes over right tackle for four yards where Jay Smith brings him down. One yard short of the first down. So it's fourth and one and LSU in punt formation. Tommy Davis deep. Takes a low snap, but he gets off a beautiful kick to the Clemson 11 yard line. Morgan returns to the 18. Seven yard return on the play. Davis kick was good for 52 yards from scrimmage. Jingler in at quarterback, hands off to Morgan. He attempts to go through left tackle, but he loses a yard. Branch making the tackle. Second and nine for the Clemson Tigers. Jingler pitching back to Mathis. He sweeps right in for a three-yard pickup. Kinchin coming in to stop him. Now Shingler pitches back to Morgan, who attempts to sweep left end. But Langan is there to stop him, and it's no game. Mathis drops back to punt for Clemson. A bad pass from center to the short man results in a fumble. And it's recovered by Leopard of LSU on the Clemson 11. So the Tigers take over. First and 10 on the Clemson 11. Mathern, the quarterback, hands off to Cannon. He attempts to go through right tackle, but Misneri smears him for a two-yard loss. Puts the ball back in the Clemson 13, second and 12 for LSU. The LSU Tigers in a slot T formation. Mathern pitching out to Cannon. Billy sweeps left end, picks up four yards, but he's chased out of bounds by Horn. Third and nine now for the Tigers. The third. Following the touchdown, Max Stuckler kicks off now for LSU. Puts the ball down deep to the five-yard line where Horn gathers it in. He carries back to the 31 before he's halted by Robinson, a run back of 26 yards. And first and 10 for Clemson on his 31. And off now from White. Hayes goes straight up the center for eight yards before Norwood drops him. White's the quarterback. He fumbles the ball, but jumps on it and recovers for a one-yard loss. White hands off to Usry, who gains three yards over right guard, and it's a first down on the Clemson 41. Strange made the tackle. Now here's White back to pass. Decides to run. On a left end sweep, he gains eight yards before McLean is able to bring him down. Second and three for Clemson, trailing seven to nothing. White hands off to Hayes. He goes up the middle for two yards before Fugler brings him down. And that's how the third quarter ends. Score LSU seven, Clemson nothing. It's third and one for Clemson as the final period begins. Hayes gets a handoff from White, drives through right guard, picks up two yards. And it's a first down on the LSU 48. Here's White making the handoff. Pitches out to Usry. He tries a right-hand sweep, but he runs into Billy Cannon for a gain of one yard. White hands off to Hayes. He goes up the middle for three yards before he's stopped by Strain. Third and six for Clemson. White fakes. Hands off to Harn with a delayed buck. Charlie goes through center for a gain of four with Brodnack stopping him. Fourth down, two yards to go, and Clemson is going for it. Horn is flanked to the left as White hands off to Usry. He tries right guard, makes one yard, and Clemson fails to make the first down. The ball goes over to LSU on their 39. 
Bethurn brings his team up to the line of scrimmage. Takes a snap and pitches out to Cannon. Horn runs him out of bounds after a gain of two yards at left end. Bethurn hands it off to Robinson, but Wagner brings him down after he gains two at left tackle. Bethurn, quarterback, handing off to Cannon, and Billy picks up four yards and a cutback at right end before Pilot can stop him. However, LSU is short of the first down. And the Tigers go into punt formation. That's Cannon deep. He punts to the Clemson 17. Morgan gets the ball, and he's hit hard by a horde of the LSU Tigers for no return. Clemson puts the ball in play from scrimmage on her 17. Shingler hands off to Morgan. He runs over left guard for a gain of four yards. Rodnick makes a stop. Jingler hands off to Klein. He tries to go up the center, but Strange stops him after a gain of two. Third and four for Clemson. Shingler takes a handoff. He sweeps left end and gains seven before Brodnax can catch it. It's a first down for Clemson on the 30. Shingler pitches out to Morgan. But Strange is there to hold him for no gain at right tackle. Shingler pitches back to Klein, and after a gain of five yards around right end, he's run out of bounds by Robinson. Shingler fakes the handoff. He's back to pass. Throws it. Complete the Cox on the 47, but Robinson's there to tackle him. However, it's a first down on the Clemson 47. Shingler on the center, pitches back to Horn. He attempts to cut back through right tackle, but Langan pulls him down for a loss of two. Now White comes in at quarterback, fakes, rolls out to the left, decides to run, and up the middle he goes for four yards before Kinchin can make the tackle. Third and eight. White fakes. He's going to throw. Passes down the middle to Anderson. Good for 11 yards and a first down of the LSU 40. White hands it to Hayes, who drives right guard. Gets through for a gain of three. Chuck Snyder makes the stop. Second and seven for Clemson. Clemson Tigers on the move. White takes the handoff, keeps it, sweeps left end for a two-yard gain when Bourgeois comes in to stop him. But the play is called back. LSU penalized five yards for offside. Second and two. White hands off to Hayes. He tries right tackle. Stopped for one yard by Chuck Snyder. One yard to go for a first down. The handoff to Hayes. He tries left guard and is held to no gain by Langan. Fourth down, one yard to go. White again hands off to Hayes, and he hits left guard for three. Bourgeois makes the tackle. First and ten for Clemson. LSU's 28. As White pitches back to Usry. He tries to sweep right in now for Clemson. They trail seven to nothing in the fourth quarter. As White fakes, drops back to pass. He's going to throw to Anderson, but it's broken up by Sheck Snyder. And that makes it fourth down and six yards to go for Clemson. This is a crucial moment as they trail by one touchdown and White drops back. He's going to try a pass to Usry, a screen pass, but he drops it incomplete. And the ball goes over to LSU on her 24. Mathurin is the quarterback. He hands off the cannon who goes through left guard for a gain of eight yards. Everhart brings him down. Second and two now for LSU. Turn attempts a handoff to Robinson, but they run into each other, and Johnny's held to a one-yard gain by Hayes. Third down, one yard to go for the Tigers, who lead seven to nothing over Clemson. The turn, the keeper up the middle, gains two, and there's the first down on LSU's 36. First and ten on the 36, Mathern trying to run out the clock. He holds the ball for a long count and goes up the middle for a one-yard gain. Second and nine. Thurn still trying to kill the clock out. He tries the middle, loses two yards. Time swiftly running out. Third down, 11 yards to go. The Thurn has the ball. He fumbles. Fugler recovers for LSU. It's no gain, and the game is over. That's it. LSU has won. The Tigers of LSU, seven. The Tigers of Clemson, nothing. And Coach Frank Howard of Clemson extends his congratulations. The Silver Anniversary Sugar Bowl Classic 
is now history. Why don't you plan a visit soon to New Orleans, the historic city, the home of the Sugar Bowl. And now this is Mel Levitt saying from New Orleans, au revoir.